Hey guys, B4E4 here. Today I have for you a special non stackable item sorter. Without further ado, let's see in action. This info chest, I have a variety of non stackable items uh, everything from flint and steel to minecarts to boats to buckets to potions to shulker boxes. We gotta flip, flip this lever, watch the machine start sorting. And then I'm gonna do a tick board because I'm too lazy to wait. Alright, we'll do another one. And here we are. Machine is now finished. So let's inspect what it did. In this box we have all the shulker boxes, boat spots, buckets, let this deal, minecarts, and boats. In this chest here, we have all the items we were unable to sort. So let's talk about how this machine works. First off, we have this red circuit here. Which serves to modulate the speed at which items flow into the uh, machine. Next up, we have to go sort out shulker boxes first. This is personal preference, but your shulker boxes become items when they're dispensed out of droppers. So if we don't sort them out early, they'll clog up the machine later on unless we're careful. But I don't want to deal with that, so we'll just sort them out at the beginning. This this, this is pretty simple. Just uh, try to go feed items into the shulker box if we're able to. They must not be, sort be shulker boxes, because shulker boxes can't be placed into themselves. Otherwise, the atoms flow through the hopper line into the chest at the very end. Next up, we have potions. This is also pretty simple. It has been shown by a number of other people. Simply have the blue circuit here, try to dispense potions into the brewing stand. If they go in, create their potions, and they're put into this chest here. Otherwise, they flow through this hopper into the dispenser where an item elevator tape takes them back up to the next stage of the machine. At this stage, we sort out flint and steel. Flint and steel has the property that when dispensed, it stays in the, in the dispenser. Whereas, when there's a half slab right in front of it, even items such as water and lava buckets will be dispensed. Thus, all those items are spat out, while the flint and steel stays in the dispenser, and it's sorted out that way. Note that, yes, there's a uh, slab in front. No durability is used on the flint and steel. Next, we have the water and lava buckets. This is by far the hardest one. Now, it's unable to get a working uh, sorter that separates water buckets from lava buckets. It's pretty simple, but I just couldn't fit it into the space. So, this machine right here just, uh, dispenses, sends two pulses, one right after the other. This dropper here for a normal item that causes it to spit it out, causes it to keep going in the in the machine. For water and lava buckets, causes it to be spat out and then sucked right back up, and thus stay in the dispenser. And in that case, it's fed through this hopper, through this chest, through this dispenser, into this hopper chest right here. Lastly, we have the vehicles. First, we have, first I sort out minecarts. It's a matter of personal preference. The items flow through, flow through a hopper line here into a dispenser where all the non where all the non minecart items just fall out right there and are moved up in the machine. So the minecarts go into this power ra powered rail, shoot across here into the cactus, but the hopper line brings them to this chest right here. Then we have the boats. An item elevator, which you can see in gray, brings the items up to the top where they're fed into, into this dispenser right here. Any items that we just can't sort out get uh, dropped right through here into this chest here. But any boats that we dispense will float through this, dispen this dispenser and hit the fire right there. Thus, the item will flow up to the top into this water stream. It'll be pushed down into this hopper here. And that then brings it right here. Now, this machine is extremely compact. Uh, has the dimensions are just seven wide by six deep by six tall, assuming a uh, surrounding of solid blocks, which is necessary to stop the water and lava from spilling out. 
as well as to make the minecart go if it, when it is dispensed. Additionally, only non-stackable items can be put into this machine. Otherwise, things like arrows will screw it up. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching.